Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this example, we're going to be discussing SAP Hybris and the product cockpit. As an agenda, we're going to review the SAP Hybris product cockpit, edit a product, and sync our product to the storefront. Before we go any further, I would like to introduce you to SAP Hybris and Masterclass. The Masterclass is designed for system administrators, business analysts, and developers. We assume no prior knowledge of SAP Hybris, instead taking three pillars of core, operations and performance, and combine them into a full end-to-end -end Hybris landscape project. Developed by senior SAP engineers, the course is designed for the real world with online tutorials, video walkthroughs, and best practice advice throughout. Find out more at runhybris.com forward slash masterclass. Okay, let's get started. For first step, we're gonna to navigate to the product cockpit. To navigate to the product cockpit, you're going to proceed to forward slash product cockpit at the URL that your SAP Hybris instance is running. If you're running a local instance, this will be at localhost port 9002 forward slash product cockpit. Once there, review the cockpit, its features and the layout. It's important you're familiar with the cockpit as we'll be using it extensively in this tutorial. Remember, SAP Hybris makes use of the staged and online catalog design paradigm. Products must be synced and transferred to the online catalog to be shown on the storefront. The stage catalog is exclusively for back-end, perhaps product owner users, to edit the catalog prior to being shown to the end user. Okay, so here we are on the Hybris product cockpit login screen. To navigate this screen on a local installation, you're going to navigate to the URL localhost port 9002 forward slash product cockpit. This will load the login screen. The user ID may automatically fill for you. This is normal within demo instances. The user ID in this example is product manager and the password is 1234. Alternatively, you can also use the user ID admin, all lowercase, and a password nimda, which is admin spelled backwards, once again in lowercase. Let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so here we are in the product cockpit. On the left hand side, we have the menu options. The home button returns us to the Hybris Administration Console, or the MCC. To the right, we have the other menu, which allows us to change our data language, review our user group, our user settings, and log out. Below this, we have our shortcuts. Below this again, we have our catalogs. On this particular example, we have a number of catalogs, the apparel and the electronics. Once again, you will notice the staged and online catalogs. Once again, coming back to Hybris design paradigm, of a staged and online catalog system. Below this, we have our queries, and below this again, we have our history. To our right, you can see the number of products have been loaded. Currently, this is all products. To edit a product, hover over it and click the edit button. This will open another tab on the right hand side, giving you a number of options. These options will allow you to edit a product, for example, the identifier number, the catalog version, the online status, the description, along with attributes, prices, and just about every attribute that's associated with this product. Let's return to the tutorial now and see what our next steps are. For step two, we're going to edit the product in the product cockpit. For this step, we're going to choose a product in the product cockpit and make some edits to its description and price. Let's return to the product cockpit and make those changes now. Okay, we're back in the product cockpit we're going to choose a product from the electronics product store. It's important that we choose a product from the staged catalog because we're going to be following SAP Hybris best practice by editing the staged catalog and then syncing to the online catalog later. I'm going to select my catalog on the left hand side, clicking the staged catalog. This will load the products that are currently in the staged catalog. I'm going to edit this camera. So once again, I'll click the edit button and the editor screen will open. Let's have a quick look at what that product looks like on the storefront as of now. To do this, we're going to copy the article number and proceed to the site. This particular site is running locally and is the B2B accelerator. To access it, proceed to localhost port 9002 forward slash Y accelerator storefront forward slash electronics forward slash EN. To search for the product, place the article number in the search bar. You'll see that the item has been suggested. Click it. 
As you can see, the price is currently $119.85, and there's some information about the product. Let's return to the product cockpit now and make those edits. The first edit we're going to make is here in the description. As you can see, it's a free text HTML field. So let's add in some information. To save, simply click any other box on the screen. Hybris automatically saves information as you go. We're now going to edit the price. Scrolling down, we find the prices are listed here. Let's open the perspective by clicking this button here. As you can see, the prices are listed below. Let's change the US dollar price. Click the price, and we can see the information is listed here. Let's click edit in the top left. As you can see, the current price is $119.85. Let's change this to 109. We can now close the perspective by clicking the X. As you can see, the price is updated and is currently $109.85. Let's now return to the tutorial and check in for step three. For step three, we're going to revise the online and stage catalog system, sync our product to the storefront, and verify the product is now live on the hybrid storefront. Let's return to the product cockpit and complete those steps now. As a recap, Hybris uses two catalogs, staged and online. Staged is used for editing and drafting. For example, a sale is coming up, you want to add in products but not show them to the end user. Once these products are ready to be shown, they are moved to the online catalog in a process called synchronization. As we can see here, our product has been edited. We've updated the description and updated the price. Currently, the product is not synchronized. We know this from this symbol here. To synchronize to the online catalog, we're going to click this button. As you can see, the symbol starts to flash green. Once the product is synchronized, its synchronization symbol will turn fully green. To check if our edits are now visible on the storefront, we can return to the storefront and refresh the page. As you can see, the price is updated. Scrolling down, we can see that our edit has been made, the new price for 2017. Let's return to the tutorial for a brief recap. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and once again, we would invite you to check out the full masterclass course at runhybris.com.